Hi, future GISPs. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned to easily pass the GISP exam so that you don't have to spend years reading textbooks, getting degrees, paying for prep courses, and searching the internet for information like I did. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I learned about temporal data. Temporal data is the seventh section under the Geospatial Data Fundamentals category of the GISCI Geospatial Core Technical Exam list of knowledge categories. Let's get started with section 207, Temporal Data. Temporal Data. Temporal data is data that represents a state in time. Temporal data has attribute fields with time extents. A static map. A static map shows one period of time. Dynamic maps. Dynamic maps allow a user to slide between different time periods to show changes. Multiple maps. Multiple maps can show changes over time with multiple static maps of different time periods. Time values. Temporal data should include a field that contains the time at which the data was recorded. Time values can be stored in a data, string, or numeric field. That's all that I've included in this section about temporal data. Temporal data is a simple concept to grasp. In short, temporal data consists of data containing multiple measurements of time taken at different periods in time. Temporal analysis involves analyzing the dimension of time along with two or three dimensions of space. See section 201, Understanding of Spatial Data Models and their Associated Planar Geometries for more about temporal data models. See section 603, Understanding of Analytical Operations and Methods for more on temporal analysis. Now you know everything that I learned about temporal data to easily pass the GISP exam. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can keep helping people pass the GISP exam and achieve the rewarding careers in GIS that they deserve. You can also find everything I learned to pass the GISP exam in my book, The Ultimate GISP Exam Study Guide, available on Amazon. My study guide is an easily understandable, comprehensive, graphical, all-in-one resource for passing the exam. You can find the link to my study guide in the description below. Thanks for joining me and congratulations in advance on passing the GISP exam.